Well, good morning, Sloan, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tuesday, not quite 12 o'clock. This guy made just a, uh, um, he just did a quick crisscross on a color balance analysis. And I'm now uh, working with a different kind of camera, and this is a prototyping lab of some of the work I'm in working on. And I'm just giving this as, a, as an educational um, peek into what the prototypes kind of look like. Uh, and we've got ways to, to build this thing out and size and everything else. I mean, this is uh, the wonderful thing about it. We might have to put the Syrian pyramid in first based on this composite technology that we've got. And it's not plastic, it's um, electromagnetic energy being redirected from someplace. And the Eiffel Tower, and oddly enough, uh, that one's in France, and then the tower in uh, Zuccotti Park, Washington, uh, or this is in New York, um, Broadway and um, Liberty, I guess. So we call it Liberty Park. And we started there, and I had a uh, tent there, and there was a de dedication and everything else. First the dedication was there, and that tent went up. So uh, what we've got here is uh, two prototypes. And I'm in a lab, I can't talk to you about it. We're going to be working with this catalyst technology. Uh, I, I think what happened was when they broke the basic resonance from 8.00 to something else, 7.92, uh, 666, 7.89. What they did was they broke the, the filament of the light bulb. And whatever um, direction the pyramid was, it was supplying an electronic base uh, and it was emanating, so there's electrons in the dirt, and they would have been catalyzing in some kind of magnetic pulsation. Uh, and the shell would have remained, but the electricity would have been given over to the, uh, the work in, um, in electronically feeding the base of this thing. And the other end um, was emanating uh, some kind of different, um, from the other side of the, the ionosphere extreme, I don't know what it was. Uh, it was emanating light, so it was a positive energy source, and this was a negative energy source. I don't know how that works in quantum physics, but it was the light signal that the uh, like it threw the tungsten on, and it would have been brilliant in the sky. And guess what? The filament's broken with the original star. So what we need to do um, is telemetricians, and um, I don't know tell what is it telemetry, telemetry. Uh, those guys need to join me as we repair this thing in Egypt. Uh, we may have to repair the one in the Aztec world um, if it hasn't been bung banged into on the side. Uh, we got a lot of work to do ahead of us, gentlemen. Uh, join me in Israel as we, we see this. Uh, now, um, this is a continuing message. Please stay tuned. Uh, we need to pray for rain in the right amount. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, the, the spore invasion could be held back by the proper amount of rain. Uh, we want to put the pigs in, but they don't want to have to. We don't want to hurt their teeth, so we don't want too much rain there, because they're our best friend in this war against uh, criminal decadence, being perpetrated against us by uh, people who understand. They'll have to not spend. They won't spend the pain on us. We need to send the pain back to them. So uh, there's dead pigs coming up. That's the bait in the NZ, and they, the carrier pigeons are oddly enough. Uh, over there in India where they've got all the statuary, all that bad art, they can just use the elephants, believe it or not, they can use the elephants to cart all that brass back. And you know, uh, big rivers of water are electrical conductors, and so is the sea. And so they would have been on a big water conductor, um, a water snake, emanating electricity in a very different way, and they would have just been absorbing it, and they would have come up with these weird electrical representations. Uh, most of them are sexual. It's just a perversion of, of, a, of a thunderstorm. And we'll talk about that another time. But you've got lightning and thunder, and you've got a receiver and a mechanism to, uh, um, you know, emanate uh, some kind of atta attracting or repelling force. And it's not forces, though. It's uh, winds. It's, uh, Tesla talked about this. Go study him. And in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go to the library. This was a uh, dramatically long 444 video shoot on Kazoo Cruiser. If I didn't say Shalom at the front, I'm saying it now. It's a closed message with brackets. Uh, it's a love letter for some. And we're going to go fix the pyramid in, in, in Egypt. And we might put some of these up. Um, 
as beacon locators, okay? Any place we put these up, if we point them in the right direction, we can do that with some, some sand under their base. I mean, they're then connected correctly and resonating at 8 hertz. It's a passive generator. And we just start lighting up sparkly lights in the sky because um, it'll just work, folks. Believe in electronics, believe in technology, because those good ideas come from somebody else who also gives them to us as seeds that we can let grow. And we're going to put the pigs into Syria and watch that Garden of Eden grow in front of our eyes. And we'll build a brass road out of bricks. Okay, it's no yellow brick road someplace else and it's here with us and I'm glad you're here with us tuning this in you don't see what I see but it's getting better all the time Shalom I'm out